We are a, we are a gathering, we are a group, we are Americans united. We are one. We all have one agenda here. We want a fair and honest election. There's no other agendas here, political, aspirational, business. This is here to fight for our freedoms, our children, our country, and our president. I wanna make it understood that being here, we are all inclusive to everybody and anybody because the misinformation that's gone out is that we are actually the true party of the people. We represent everybody from every color, every race, every gender, every whatever you wanna call it. We represent everybody because that's God's children and we love God. I ask you guys, they always say when there's good, it's gonna be tested by evil. Anybody that tries infiltrating or causing issues or whatever may happen, it's very simple. You look at them and you say, we love you. I tell all the Democrats and Libertarians and Republicans, we love you, we're here to fight for you. This isn't just about us, this is making sure that we protect our constitutional republic. Please pray in your heart with your intent because that's what's being listened to. Lord, we pray to you, we thank you for allowing us to be here today. We thank you for your grace, we thank you for your strength. Give us the light through us to fight for you and fight for this country, fight for our children. Lord, if there's evil in this country, rid this country of evil. Rid this country of the corruption. Rid this country of any wrongdoing and the people that are trying to steer this country in the wrong way. Lord, we pray to you for one main thing, to protect this country from evil and to deliver us the freedoms that you've blessed upon us and allow us to praise you and to continue to go down that blessed path. Lord, humble us. Teach us the lesson that we're supposed to learn from this. But Lord, ultimately, with everything that's happening, we ask you to protect this country, bring out the evil from, to, to show us a fair and honest election, and please, Lord, put President Donald J. Trump in for four more years. What we, what we are here for today is that fair and honest election. And it's pretty simple how this works. We are here to protect, we're here to protect our constitutional republic. And what I say, guys, is this is simple. We want an audit. We want a forensic audit. We hear all these people that say, you got to recount three times and you got this and you got that. Let me tell you something. There's a difference between a recount and a forensic audit. Okay? If you don't know it, learn it. What we want to do as a country is we'd like to heal. We'd love to unite. We'd love to come together with people of all sides. But what we need to do is we need a forensic audit. Because according to the Department of National Intelligence, it's been confirmed that China, Russia, and Iran have hacked our elections. It's simple. And I say this to all Americans, that people think that we're out here to create something or do something. We want to heal. We want to unite with you. We would like to come together. We will pay for the audit. We will hire the people to do the audit. We will stimulate the economy with jobs and money. What's the issue? What are you hiding? What, we're not asking you to raise one finger. What are you hiding? Let us do it. It should be like, hey, you know what? Let me tell you something. As a, as a tech owner, you test your infrastructure. Microsoft, Google, Facebook, all these guys run hackers on their systems. They test their infrastructure. You gotta make sure that it's run the right way. So what's the issue? Let's test the infrastructure. We wanna shake it up. Let's see if it was actually, if what was done right was done right. Now, Ducey, Ducey, I have, some, I have a question to ask you, Governor Ducey. As you can hear, Governor Ducey, if you're watching this, your Republican Party is not too happy. Your political career doesn't look too good in Arizona after 2022. That's if you don't get recalled before. Now, 
here's the thing. We're not trying to sit here and just be against you. We're just asking you to do the right thing, Governor Ducey. Because when we elected you, we elected you to be the people's voice. And it's pretty simple, businessman to businessman. Governor Ducey, I have a question for you. You, you are the CEO of Cold Stone Creamery. If you had a location that you were not able to lose, that would hurt your company, that would bankrupt you, that would cause problems, and you just so happen to have 6,000 glitches, give away free ice cream to those customers. Would you audit your systems? Would you audit your systems? I think so. Do see, we want answers. And you can't play us for stupid. We're asking you to be the person we elected you to be. We're asking you to stand for this state. Please, it's never too late because right now the country needs you. And we're calling on you to stand up man to man, business owner to business owner, patriot to patriot, American to American. I'm asking you to stand up for Arizona and for the United States of America. Now many, Many say, what evidence? <laughs> it's actually my favorite question. Huh. How much time do you have? The question is, are you willing to open up your eyes and understand? The courts are turning you down. The courts are turning you down. No, they're not. They're not listening to our full evidence. They're just choosing not to listen to the, to the, to the case. Because when I have a Harvard statistician Okay, so if anybody that thinks they outsmart the system, let's talk about a Harvard statistician that came out and said it's a one in quadrillion chance for what happened election night for Vice President Biden to supposedly win the election. One in quadrillion. Many tech and data experts have, have looked at this. And I tell you something. Here, let's make this simple for the people that don't understand. Tech is simple. We're sending molecules to space via teleportation nowadays. We have flying cars. If I go to 7-Eleven, I buy a brownie. National headquarters at that moment is updated that Adele just bought a brownie at 10.53 p.m. Well, I got a question. Why, when I put my ballot in, did it reject it, push that little green button, but then four days later tell me it's accepted? Do you know how bad of technology that is? It should be right up on my phone that just said updated. This is who you voted for at 1053. Congratulations. Thank you for voting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we're fighting is not hard here. They're making it seem to be hard. We will pay for the audit. We will give people jobs. We will heal the country. And we will accept whoever the winner is to a fair and honest election. A stat I'd like to leave you with. Data was just revealed after looking at 3,000 counties that there was a preference for Joe Biden of 5.6% in counties where the Dominion voting software was used. That's a lot. That right there, that was 5.6% in Dominion voting and with the Dominion systems in, area, area, in areas that the Dominion systems were used a 5.6% preference for Vice President Biden. If you ask me if I'm running the company, I say we need to audit the systems because something is off. It's pure and simple. Ladies and gentlemen, here we stand today. Many of you familiar faces. We've been out here for eight weeks now. We've stood for our country. Thank you. Thank you for standing out here. God bless you guys. Many of you have asked why we've gone the political route and brought in some politicians today. Let me make it clear. They have the power in their hands with the legislation. We need to show, here's the thing. God puts this thing inside of you at some point and it speaks to you. Others at different times than others. It's just how it works, okay? But when that light comes inside of you, you start to feel what you gotta fight for. And everybody here today feels like they were called for a reason, am I right? So these politicians that we see coming on board, we saw like Steve Shukri stand up finally against the County Board of Supervisors. Thank you, Shukri. 
But Sellers, Gates, and Hickman, we want some answers because the Republican people want an audit, so we're wondering why you're running. Now here's the thing. We need to incorporate. It's fine. People are gonna get that light at times. It takes a hero to stand up. We call on these politicians that feel scared, that feel like their political career is on the line. It's not. If you believe in God, God's got you. It, it is if you don't stand for our voice. It is. If you don't represent we the people, your political career is on the line. Let's make that clear. When we elected you, we didn't elect you to decide if you're a tech expert, statistician, or whatever. We elected you to be our voice. Okay? But going forward here, we call on you to be the hero for the people and show us what we put you in there for. We ask you, we ask God to put that light in your heart to bring you out and stand for this country. Because 92% of Republicans believe there was fraud. And I even saw in a poll that 30% of Democrats believe there was fraud. What more do you want? Ladies and gentlemen, you have to allow the dominoes to fall. You have to pray for these people. You have to welcome them in. And somebody that's been fighting, that was just with the president the other day, that has her own Supreme Court case, AZ GOP chairman, somebody that's been fighting, somebody that's standing here, we are here for a fair and honest election. We want nothing more, nothing less. We want to heal with you as you heal with us. We want to come together. We will pay for the audit. We will hire the people to do it. You don't have to lift a finger. And when the answer to a fair and honest election, an audit comes through, we will accept the result. That's all we're asking of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we move forward with legislation. So please give a warm welcome, a, a, a love to all the state legislators. I want to welcome them up and say thank you for everything you've done.